In this video, we're going to talk about density. And when you think of something that is dense, you think of something that is maybe small but heavy, heavier than you would expect. And so when we actually calculate density, the way that we calculate it is we calculate it by using the ratio of the mass of a substance to its volume. And here's the equation. D is density, M is mass, V is volume. And this equation is on the formulas page in your reference table. So be sure to look, stop and check your formulas page so that you know where it is. You'll always have that for tests and quizzes and the exam. With density, typical units are grams per milliliter, although sometimes you'll see with gases that grams per liter is more common because gases are very light, so they're small. They have very low densities. Let's talk about the expectations that I have for algebra work when you show me algebra. When you're working some algebra problems for me, and that's anytime you're solving for a variable, you need to show the equation and solve it with the symbols first before you put in the numbers. I want you to do this because it's a good habit to get into. It is makes you less likely to make a mistake when you start plugging in numbers and you'll you'll be surprised at how much easier it will make it. And so what that means if I'm solving for mass in a density problem, d equals m over v, I would have to solve that for mass and then I would find that m equals density times volume and then you would substitute in your numbers. You need to include your units. They're very important. And then you want to show your units canceling and then the correct units in the answer. And the reason that it's a good idea to cancel your units is because if they don't cancel correctly, chances are that you've got something in the wrong place. So it's just a really quick, easy way to make sure that you have things set up right. So let's look at a couple of sample problems. The first one, it's asking what volume of ethanol would have a mass of 16.9 grams? So let's look at how to set that up. We know that the equation for density is density equals mass over volume. So if we're trying to solve for volume, we need to get volume by itself. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and multiply both sides of the equation by volume. And then volume will cancel. And then you'll have volume times density equals mass. And then we want to get volume alone, so we're going to go ahead and divide by both sides by density. Remember that we treat variables just like numbers, so these will cancel. And volume equals mass divided by density. So let's go ahead and plug in what we know from our equation. Volume is equal to our mass from our problem, 16.9 grams. Now, there's no density in this problem, so obviously I'm going to have to find that information. That would be in your reference table, and if you look in your reference table on the second page, it will show you a table that has the densities of different things, and you look up for ethanol, the density, and you should find that it's 0 0.7893 grams per centimeter cubed. And let's go ahead and look at what happens to our units now. Grams will cancel, and you'll be left with centimeters cubed. If you look, this is really 1 over, one over centimeters cubed. But remember, when you divide by a fraction, it would be, you would multiply by the reciprocal, so it would be 1 times centimeters cubed over 1 and that will just leave you with centimeters cubed. I don't expect you to show this. This, on the other hand, I do want to see. So when you go ahead and solve that, remember to check your sig figs. So that would be 21.4 centimeters cubed. Let's try another example. So in this question, it's asking us to find the mass. So We've got the mass, we've got, we're being asked for the mass, 
we're being given a volume. Now one of the tricks here is to recognize that it is a density question because obviously you'll know in this unit it's a density question. But on the final exam they're not going to label it that way. When you see a question that has mass and get, asks for volume or vice versa, typically that's going to be a density problem. So make sure that you pay attention to that. All right, so let's go ahead and set that one up. Start with your D equals M over V, and we want to get mass by itself, so let's multiply both sides by volume to get rid of that, and these will cancel. I'm going to go ahead and flip these so that mass is on the left. So mass is equal to volume times density. So we know that we have a volume of 4.91 milliliters. Now, We've got a density, if you look on the front page of your reference table, there's the density for lead. You can see that the density for lead is in grams per centimeters cubed. That's a little bit of a problem because milliliters and centimeters cubed are not going to cancel. And so we need to remember that conversion factor. One milliliter is equal to one centimeter cubed. If you haven't memorized that, write it down again in your notes and make sure that you know it because that's going to pop up again. Remember that whatever unit is on top, we want that unit to go on the bottom to cancel. And so we want to go from milliliters to centimeters cubed. And we know that one milliliter equals one centimeter cubed. And then grams per centimeter cubed is a compound unit. So let's go ahead and set that up. Our milliliters will cancel. And then our density for lead is in grams per centimeter cubed, we want centimeters cubed on the bottom, and we want grams on the top. And our density for lead is 11.3437, missed that little three there. And that's grams per centimeter cubed, so remember the per is where the line is, and so that's 11.3437 grams in one centimeter cubed. Let's go ahead and cancel centimeters cubed, and we'll end up with a unit of grams, which is what we want. It's asking us for mass. Grams are the mass unit. And when you punch that into your calculator, you will end up with 55.7 grams. Don't forget your sig figs in this one.